How you guys? How you doing? It's been a long time. All right, so a lot's taking place in my life, but I'm not letting it bring me down. I have to say I probably changed a little bit. I had some, uh, my 16 year old passed away and very horrible and traumatizing. But the experience and what I witnessed during this process was life changing. Definitely life changing. Um, and when she passed, I was right there by her side with her hand in my hands to my head. I was resting my head on our hands and her cat was sitting on her chest as she took her last breath, her last heartbeat. Um, so I'm pretty sure, in fact, I know for a fact that that energy that came from her has went into me and the cat. And it's cool because I can feel her within. And I know it seems kind of strange. I'm not saying her soul, or, but the energy that comes from us when we pass is what is still there and goes on living. So, um, have I felt the change? I have. And I am a little, um, Well, it's exciting, but it's definitely uh, life changing. Like, so I'll see where sometimes she shines through me, or sometimes she just comes through me, and it's like, whoa, I don't do that stuff normally, but I know who does. And it's a trip. It's a trip. Um, it's cool. I was meditating out back one night not long after it happened. It happened on 7-11. 7-11 is a significant date and uh, it was definitely a time stamp. And so um, I'm still deep diving on some things. And uh, so I had these little bracelets made. They're her TikTok username pretty cool keeping her channel alive and uh it's been a uh, quite the experience uh definitely don't wish it upon anybody to ever lose a child because uh, it is the worst pain you'll ever go through <clears throat> but because i stand in the truth and i know what happens and i know that we don't really die and that is our real life is the spirit life um, and that we're just trapped in these uh, I like to call them shit suits <laughs> but uh, yeah so anyways um, maybe I got a little off track but maybe not uh, it's been very hard to swallow when you don't get to see that person that you truly love with all your heart and soul But she's still here. That's the cool thing. Um, I definitely am grateful that she's not going to have to encounter some of the things that we're going to have to encounter. Uh, that's probably my number one um, safe zone to go when I feel kind of sad is knowing that she's not going to have to go through what we're about to go through and wow uh let's just say wow <laughs> ah, the the thoughts or the the visions that i get shown in my head are quite intense but uh and pretty cool really cool um to say the least uh I've missed you guys, 
Um, I just, I've been doing a lot of reading and studying and I'm also working on a project um, to not only make money, but to bring something really cool to my daughter's fans, friends, and uh, it's going to be pretty cool. I'll be announcing it on my channel also. And then if everybody can like, share, subscribe, and get as many people on as possible, that would be cool too. I know that I don't come on a lot anymore, and I, and even when I, uh, I just got so many videos to put out there, I just, everything got kind of off track the past six months, and I get it. I understand because I went through some things and then I also moved and all this other stuff and um, it's been a uh, life changing and it's really cool because um, now I have my own little place and it's just me and it's just what I need. It's not extra. It's not less. It's just what I need to uh, get by and I'm okay with that because that's where I like it the best is not having all this extra stuff and I do have a storage unit I'd love to get rid of all that crap but um, I did it like once or twice already you guys I don't know where the stuff comes from uh, so I uh, am definitely going to try to start coming on more and talking more and sharing uh, the knowledge that I've learned throughout the time that I've had um, I know that there's still a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world and it's not going to go away and it's not ever going back to how it was but what I was going to say a second ago was the feeling that I get being here on earth isn't the same as it was a year ago okay like I feel like we're moving dimensions. I feel like when I'm driving down the street and I'm looking around at things, I feel like I'm kind of like going into a new world. Like it's all calm and none of the, uh, none of the outside of my bubble matters. Um, and not in a bad way. It's just the feeling that you get and like I'll think back to certain time or days and yeah, I used to, I know, I remember feeling like that, but this is a whole different feeling, like, this is a whole surreal, calm feeling that I'm feeling, and, um, it's, it's pretty cool, it's, it's very, it feels very dimensional at that, um, I've never been one to be, like, completely in one particular subject matter, so, um, I never just picked up one thing and that was it. That's all I did. That's all I believed. That's all. No, I was, I, throughout my whole life, I've always been kind of like a little bit of everything. So I'm into a little bit of everything. Um, except the mean stuff. I don't like negativity. I don't like hate. I don't like racism. I don't like, um, killing, hurting, anything. Um, I'm not into any of that kind of stuff. Though I've seen plenty, I'm not about that. But throughout my life, I've kind of been into like everything, like a little bit of this, science, religion, you know, history, facts, not facts, um, arts and crafts, working on cars like I just kind of been into like everything and then some things I'm like how do I know this stuff I never went to school for this so like I'm all like okay well that's cool I already know a little bit about whatever I'm doing and it was just strange how I knew that but now that I've um come in and went within I'm seeing that I've carried a lot of my knowledge with me from previous lives and um, 
So at nighttime, before I go to sleep, I don't technically go to sleep. I lay there awake. And I try to stay awake, but in a state of like meditation. And I've seen so many different things. I even seen like the UFOs coming over. And this was like about a year, uh, nine months ago. I might have made a video about it. I don't know. But um, so, like, I see a lot of cool things when I'm just laying there. And clear my mind. I also, uh, about a year ago, I was jumping, I was taking a nap and I jumped off the couch and I jumped up and the first thing that came into my mind was what I was uh, like dreaming about on the couch when I was taking a nap or whether it be a dream or a vision or whatever. Um, it was all the planets lining up. Well, then not too long ago about a month ago uh we were seeing you know uh certain things take place in the cosmos and things lining up and i was like wow i remember telling everybody that was around me hey i just had this really cool vision about the planets lining up and all that cool stuff so um let's pay attention y'all <laughs> to the people around me and um anyways i just wanted to come on and say hi and i love you guys and share a little bit about what's been going on um i am okay i'm happy i'm doing just fine um it was very traumatizing to lose a child but because i know what i know and i've seen what i've seen just through her, whew, let me tell you what I seen and learned. Yeah, I miss her. That's never ever gonna go away. That'll never go away. Like, that wanting to see her physically will never go away. But knowing, knowing, oh, I was gonna share with you my meditation. Okay, so this is what happened. I was sitting out back and I was meditating and I seen this big bright light. And the big bright light, I was like, most high, please just let me have a hug from Caitlin. Like, and I was with all my heart feeling this. So the big bright light that I was seeing shot off a little light and it went center to my chakra, my heart chakra. And it was just all lit up, all lit up, so beautiful. And the feeling in that moment of that light touching my heart chakra was like me and my daughter shared the biggest love moment we've probably ever had. And that was like, us switch telling each other how much we loved each other and when the light combined with my heart chakra i was like whoa and i had the biggest smile on my face and it was the most amazing feeling ever and i was like what just happened it was so cool you guys and knowing that and feeling that a hundred percent within you guys <laughs> it was beautiful um but i uh so that that definitely keeps a smile on my face when that happened because i know that by meditating and going within it heals a lot too so um that's a big deal and so on that note, I think I'm going to get off. I'm waiting here in the drive through line so I could get me some, uh, don't judge, <laughs> mozzarella sticks because they're so good. But you know what? The service right now at this particular sonnet sucks. 
so I might just need to come here and get a job and start stepping up the, the program over here and roller skate my butt out to cars and get everybody served fast, right? No, I'm just kidding. I am not trying to work. Um, I do have a plan in effect though that's coming up and I'll be sharing it with you guys later. I gotta get them all drawn up first and all that good stuff. And then uh, I'll be able to throw it out here on my channel. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. I'll be back.